Yo, JP Nation! How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. It's your boy Maxima as usual back with another video. And I wanted to like to talk to you guys about something that um, I've been getting a lot of heat lately for, uh, which is um, leaks. Leaks when it comes to weathering waves, which is something very obvious. Um, it's something that I've been covering um, on the channel for a really long time. I've been covering every character that's been uh, sort of rumored to be released and given my thoughts and given everything and so on which is something that I felt like it was normal. Um, something that, to keep in mind, that I never cover the story or anything because I don't want to spoil that. Um, I consider it as a movie. Uh, it's supposed to be like to be a, a, a sacred thing or a series that you don't want to share any spoilers on. So I do tend to um, sort of like pose the questions in my videos and uh, talk mostly about characters' kid and also what I think of them and how they're going to be implemented in the game and also like uh, make some rhetoric questions about uh, certain characters, how they're going to be implemented in the story and that's about it. Uh, so basically a lot of content creators are being thrown my name here and there because um, as you guys know, I don't just like post videos um about the certain characters or whatever i tend to um give my opinions on them i don't just like post the leaks basically i'm not a um ai generated voice or whatever i'm a real person uh, that just makes videos and give my thoughts and so on and the way i look to leaks i i looked at them as i mentioned earlier as okay as long as you don't spoil anything and also my thoughts has always been uh, surrounding as if attack channel, like a uh, line of tech tips, if you guys are familiar with those uh, people or uh, Marques uh, Brownlee or whatever, those tech YouTubers tend to talk about leaks about the hardware that is supposed to be coming. Uh, for example, like the iPhone 16 got leaked before uh, it got released, for example. What's it called? The NVIDIA, new NVIDIA card got um, leaked before it got released as well. And I always thought that's quite okay, to be honest with you, because it's not the problem of the content creator to create more security when it comes to leaks. It's the company's job or duty to make sure that um to make sure that those leaks doesn't go uh, go out somehow there is a lot of ways that a lot of companies do this um maybe through a private server where they they can test everything instead of uh, throwing everything in the main game on the beta and giving like the data miners to find everything and so on so uh, that's my look into leaks, to be honest with you guys. So, um, and I've been growing up in the 90s. So in the 90s, there is like um, a YouTube channel is similar to uh, a TV channel that you watch. If you don't want to watch a certain channel or you want to like to miss spoilers on your favorite series and stuff like that, you have a button and you just like click a button and uh, move to the next video, basically, or the next channel, similar to what the 90s is. If you don't want to watch a certain content or whatever, you just don't like you don't say anything. You just click a button and go um, to the next content basically so that's my view on the um on the sort of uh the leaks uh in wondering ways uh to be honest and it always been my standard with this uh for a really long time and so on i covered a lot of leaks when it comes to uh, my hero academia the strongest hero it's a game that i played before um i did cover some genshin uh, uh i covered some a, a lot of other games uh seven deadly sins grand cross as well that's another gacha game that i covered as well uh previously and so on uh, and i always like thought it, it was all right so i hope like i didn't um upset a lot of people and so on when it comes to uh discussing characters and so on i'm just hyped up for the game as much as you um as you guys um and i want to like to share the news with you guys and i feel and i feel like it's pretty boring uh when it comes to um to the period right after a character is being released um of course like we have the short keeper or we have gg and then you have that month or so where that character is going to be there without any news without anything of course like i cover everything when it comes to um m m like other content like guides and so on sorry i lost my train of thoughts there uh but yeah i, I do cover a lot of like everything when it comes to weathering waves and so on so uh, that's the main reason. So I don't know why content creators are throwing my names here and there. Um, I, I, I just uh, respect everybody, and um, I, I say my lane in that sense. Uh, and I don't want to like mention everybody or mention anybody's because I don't I don't want to uh, be included in that sort of drama. I just like wanted to address this once and for all. Um, and um, yeah, I'm I'm just like gonna carry on doing this because I feel like 
that's what is right. And I do believe that if a company wants to um, to stop the leaks, they have to like to stop the source, which is like the data miners, not the content creators creating uh, thoughts or stuff about about that thing. Uh, let me know if, I, if I'm wrong because I'm curious as well. As I mentioned earlier, uh, the period the period between um, a, a character release and the next content is very boring. And I do cover everything when it comes to like the guides, everything when it comes to weathering waves and so on. And I do want to like to fill up that um, that that period where there is nothing happening with an exciting content that you guys can um can explore can uh, strategize your asterisks and stuff like that and also like share your opinions that's very very exciting uh with that being said that was just my thought i wanted to like to clear it out um and uh yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think as well um and i want to mention that 95 percent of you that are watching this channel are not subscribed to the channel what are you doing hit that subscribe button if you want to uh join um the channel and uh yeah if you want to like to support the channel even more uh we started streaming uh recently and we were gathering money to for a new uh computer because my computer can't handle er anything at the moment so if you want to support please consider um becoming a member you get the emotes you get everything um it would be really really appreciated with that being said again thank you so much for the support thank you so much for watching and um i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye